We reported earlier on this afternoon that it looked overcast and weather was threatening it saved itself until the super stage. And here with Tony Summers, if you weren't having enough drama, the heavens have opened, there's pools of water everywhere and you had to tackle the super stage with a car that was not happy. Yeah, 100%. It was, well, I think we were the first car through. It was, it was like driving on a greasy pork chop. It was so wet and so slippery. And then, um, yeah, the car just stops and then went another 100 metres and then stopped again. And then oh, I'm, at a, I'm at a loss as to what the cause of it is. That last stage, we got a, a rock jam between the uh, wheel and the caliper. It almost came to a stop, so I had to pull up, pull it out, get going. And a couple of k's later, drive shaft, front and left drive shaft let go. So we had to limp about 15k out and then do the transport back here into the super special. So we lost like I don't know, 12, 13 minutes, and it's just yeah, gut wrenching. But that's rallying. <laughs> yeah, holding two pieces, mate. That should look like one, shouldn't it? Yeah, as you know, Dean, I'm I'm a pretty good mechanic, and um, I'm not that you know clever to know that doesn't should belong in there. <laughs> Even I know that, and I'm not yeah. a good mechanic. But yeah. yeah, I mean, um, Adrian talked us through the fact that a rock come through, you had to dislodge that, but you think that's damaged the CV and ultimately broke this off? Oh, absolutely. The rock was pretty huge, about the size of grapefruit, I reckon. And once it got in there, it actually locked the wheel up and stopped the car. I think that was enough shock load for that actually to twist and turn and break away. Um, probably just hung off while we took off and took the rock out of the wheel, but it broke a couple of kilometres down the road. I think if something could go wrong, it has today. We've had a few issues, but uh, the boys are soldiered on, and that's all you could expect. It's uh, an endurance round, so you always uh, you'd like to think you'd have a nice clean run, but um, these things are sent to test us, and we'll see how we go again tomorrow. And sometimes it's moments like this where the teams can, and the drivers, co-drivers, the mechanics can be tested bigger, and if they can come through stuff like this. It uh, can be a major success in some ways. For sure. I mean, uh, it is a team effort. There's a lot of guys here trying to put in a, a lot of hard hours on the car, and you never know. You know, um, it was like Adrian yesterday in, in the power stage. Car was good, five, four, three, two, one, and boom, problem. So it's like that in the sport, and I think you really got to dig deep sometimes and just keep on chiseling away and chiseling away. And a three-day event, you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. These are the, the events we enjoy, events that are long. You know, Mick's not a guy that goes out and takes a lot of risks. It's much more for him about being smooth and tidy and setting times the right way. Yeah. And these are the events that, that reward that. So Tough way to finish, the super special. That's why we're dancing around on mud here at the moment. And uh, when you've got a result in the bag, particularly from a leg point of view today, you just want to get through it. It's so hard, isn't it? Absolutely. Look, it's it's one of those tough things. Do we go out and uh, and push and turn it on for the crowd? Nobody likes driving these cars anything but flat out. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, we've we've got a position to protect. We've got plenty of space behind us, plenty of space in front. Um, look, we, we went out, had a good time, but certainly didn't take any unnecessary risks. I can hear the car running. That's good news. Yeah, it's great news, Dino. We won the first stage. It felt good, you know, and we knew we had things still to improve on. Our second stage, Ballingen, halfway through on the downhill section, uh, just near the jumps. We just, the car shut down and made a bit of a pop and look, I worked on it for half an hour, couldn't find the issue. I uh, brought it back here to Rally School Boys and here's the evidence, we actually broke this camshaft. So it's quite severe. This is meant to be twice as long. It's on the exhaust side and I've never really heard of it happening, breaking. Uh, it was a massive effort, had to take the engine out of the car, put a whole new head on. Um, it's different camshafts I usually drive on. So tomorrow I'll have to get used to the different power range, but look, we're gonna be in it. A great day for us. The car's uh, been faultless. You know, Dale's done a good job, and I'm dropping it all right too. Dropping it all right. I think you're driving a sensation, mate. You've really got to grips with this as the season. You're coming good at the right end, you'd have to say. And obviously with Brendo's dramas, you now have to play a game of strategy, don't you? Yeah. Look, it's funny. Eli said to me when I started with the Renault, he said, "You said, mate, uh, it'll be 18 months before you get come to grips with it." Nah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> so the thing, I'll be, I'll be faster than that. And I think he was right. You know, like middle of this year, it just all started to click for me and uh, you know hopefully uh, we can continue on you know I'm unfortunate for Brendo to have a, an engine drama and uh, he'll be back tomorrow and, and fighting for sure on on two of the, of the best stages in the championship I think. Well, let's talk about tomorrow then so you lock away points now but of course there's an overall rally to absorb here as well and you've got nearly 50 k's a classic stage which is very hard on the cars and all you want to do is probably just keep that lead and keep momentum and it's hard to do you've got 50 k's you don't know how everyone's going and how you're actually going against them. Yeah, look, it's a strange one. Uh, I actually, it's actually good that it's raining because uh, you know 50 k's on on these tyres with these cars um, would, would have been tough. You know, from from last year, as we, we proved that. Um, so hopefully, uh, you know, we can uh, get some good temperature out there and uh, we can push on. And uh, as you said, that, those, those stages are just absolutely brilliant. That, that long 50k stage, probably in my mind, is the best in the championship.